A web question has come in. It's from uh, Brenton Anthony in Canberra. When it comes to asylum seekers, what would Jesus do? Well, <laughs> Je Jesus... <laughs> um, Jesus wouldn't have put his hand up to lead the Liberal Party, I suspect. <laughs> <laughs> Labor Party for that matter. <laughs> OK. But, but someone who believes yeah, in yeah. the principles that he yeah. espoused mm. did do that. So it's a legitimate question. Yeah. Uh, don't forget Jesus drove the traders from the temple as well. Now, I, I mean... You know, uh, what's the point of that? Well, the, 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 the point, the point is... the analogy? Je Je Jesus didn't say yes to everyone. I mean, Jesus knew uh, that there was a place for everything and and it is not necessarily everyone's place to come to Australia. It's, 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 quite, it's quite an interesting analogy mm. because, mm. as you know, um, and a whip was used on mm. that occasion mm. to drive people out mm -hmm. of the temple. Um, you know, if that's the analogy you're choosing, mm. should we take it at face value? No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm just saying that... Um, Look, Jesus was th was the best man who ever lived, uh, but that doesn't mean that he said yes to everyone. That he was permissive to everything, and and this idea that Jesus would say uh, to every to every person who wanted to come to Australia, fine, uh, the doors open. I just don't think is necessarily right. I mean, let's not verbal Jesus.